my gosh. Miles, this is nasty. Nasty! It's so bad. We made the entire mango mead over again. Check this video out. So we f***ed up, okay? <laughs> what we did, we fermented our mangoes with the skins. You're not supposed to do that. You just, you know, the peel, all that. It makes it sour. It may still end up being good, you know, like 10 years from now when we've forgotten about it and we never drink <laughs> it again. But now we want to just redo it. We're going to redo the whole thing. So I want to get five pounds of like fruit pulp from this. So I bought 11 pounds of mangoes because the skin and the, the... yes. <laughs> yes. Because <laughs> uh -huh. the skins and stuff, I'm just thinking after we prep it, you're going to lose a lot of the weight of the mango and the skins and the stuff and the, the pit that we don't ferment. And then hopefully we get about five or six pounds of mango stuff to ferment. This is going to be really tasty and really good and hopefully not nearly as sour. I hope not. Fingers crossed. So we finally figured out how to cut a mango. To do so, you carve an X all the way down the sides of the mango and then you peel it like a banana. It was really cool when we discovered this. It's very simple and very easy. So just do what I'm doing here, okay? And then you wanna cut off the meat of the fruit like an apple, okay? Get, carving around the core, essentially. And then you end up with a lot of stuff, a lot of good stuff. And so we did that with all of our mangoes and ended up with about nine and a half pounds of good fruit. And then we mashed it up, mash, mash, mash the mangoes, you remember. And then we added about a couple blueberries. I just added them in for some color, not for flavor. Thought it might enrich in and darken the color. And then for no reason at all, I bought a gallon of Fiji water. I just, chaotic energy took hold. I was like, let's get good water. And so we put it all together in our fermenting bucket. And here we are the second time around. Fast forward a couple weeks, primary fermentation is completed. And here it is. This is what it looks like. Every week I push down that cap of fruit. You know the deal. So then with my strainer, okay, I grab the bag of fruit and I put it into the strainer just to strain out some wine that's left in the bag that we didn't squeeze out because I really don't want to waste any of it. So you just let it sit for a few minutes and then you pour it back in. Took a gravity reading, came out to 1.00, so it's totally dry, the fermentation is done. Using an auto siphon, as you see here, we then siphoned the wine from the bucket into a one gallon carboy because that will allow me to fill it all the way to the top reducing oxidation, headspace, all that. We were able to fill up one one gallon carboy and then a fourth gallon that used to hold apple juice but now is holding mango mead. Well, welcome back. This is the redo wine. This is our original one where we use the mango skin. So we want to taste all of them just to compare. This will probably be a lot better, hopefully. And we're going to bottle up. The first thing I want to do, this is my usual order, but I just want to taste all these because I haven't had any coffee for six days now. Seven, I thought. Seven days now. And I'm just, it's, I'm really, I'm really angry. I got a lot of angry energy and I just want to taste them. <laughs> He's really going through it right now. Okay, wait, before we taste it, there's one sad little thing I need to explain. And that's that when I filled this up, as you noticed in the previous clip, I filled it all the way into the neck, okay? It's now all the way down here, which means that liquid got out. I figured out eventually, it's because actually this morning, that there's a hairline <laughs> fracture in the base of the carboy and wine's been leaking out. That means potentially oxygen has been getting in and this is gonna be oxidized and not taste good at all, in which case, mango mead. We're never doing this again. This was so much work and we kept screwing up. <laughs> so really this might be our only good bottle. Yeah, I'm gonna bottle this one, give it to Ashley <laughs> and uh, never return to mangoes. All right, mango mead number one, the one we use the mango skins on, really sour, gross. It smells really, really good. That's the one thing that's really changed that I noticed right away. It didn't smell this good to start with. It smelled fermentation-y. Now it smells almost like a cooked mango. It's not bad. No, it's not as bad as it was. It's not great. You're not winning any awards with this, but it's not that bad. Yeah, it's a little bit sour, but it's not, it's not like how it was mm -hmm. when we first opened it. Yeah. It's not super duper great, but I'm, I'm curious to see how these are. Scale of one to 10, what would you rate it? Like a four. Yeah. Yeah. Four or five, maybe, but I'd it's, give it a five. Yeah, average. As Ashley pointed out, there's a teeny tiny little bug in the airlock, but that's what they're for to keep out the bugs. I don't 
Ew. I smelled it right when you opened it. Oh, this smells horrible. <laughs> it smells like rancid almost. All right, I will taste it. Okay. Oh, it smells no, so it much <laughs> worse than it's. It does not smell good. <laughs> Doesn't taste that bad. Taste wise, it's not that bad. Yeah. Why does it? It just. Ugh. It smells so gross. Why was mango mead so difficult? I don't understand. Okay, well the last one the we want to try this one. It's a different container. Uh, no, as far as I'm aware, no air was getting in here. It may taste and smell different. Different like. <laughs> I don't like that reaction. Miles. Maybe I shouldn't make wine anymore. I don't like that one. Nope. That one made <clears throat> my tummy queasy. Whenever you do anything, you make mistakes. And you fail. And sometimes you fall flat on your face <laughs> with people watching. And they mock you. And you just get back up and you keep going. It makes me want to throw up. Okay, so I don't think we're gonna do anything with this. I don't know. I don't even. I don't think it's worth it. I don't even want. Because I won't drink it. No, I don't even want to bottle this. I don't want to bottle any of it. We learned today that I don't know how to make mango mead. <laughs> that is honestly the conclusion I'm. Uh, we can draw from this is that Miles doesn't know how to make mango mead, and it's just it's really fun to be able to reflect and to learn and to grow. They look. Pretty. They do, but that just goes to show, don't judge a book by its cover, because exactly. it might taste like vomit. Sorry, kids. We're calling it. Okay, let's get a rough and ready notes you for are. next time. Cut off. So, I don't know why it smells so bad, and this one actually smells pretty good. I used the same mangoes and the same honey. So, I, I did put, what was it, like a cup of blueberries in this one, but I, I, that can't be the reason why, right? Um, Maybe the skins just really made it smell good. I guess, man. I'm going to try mango meat again on my own time. Not film it, because I still don't know what I'm doing with mango meat. And if it comes out great, we may come back to this. We, pr we probably never will, to be honest with you, because it's just <laughs> so bad. Yeah. I'm going to need to think a little bit, and I would love for your input about why this went so badly and why this <laughs> literally smells like vomit. It's not hydrogen sulfide. I know that smell. This just smells putrid. This one might be redeemable. We add some honey, bottle it, put it away. I just, I'm not doing it. It was too much today. So thanks for watching. It <laughs> took like two hours to set everything up. And, <laughs> and this is the result. <laughs> but we have fun. Yeah. Let's whine about it. Nice. It's also called Let's Learn About It. <laughs> you know? <laughs> we learn, right? Exactly. Thank you, Ashley. for Hit that thumbs up <laughs> for watching this. The beginning's good. I don't care if you like it or dislike it. Just interact with the video. Leave a comment about what wine or mead we should try next. Yes. I Well, I haven't decided if you're coming back, Ashley. <laughs> but uh, if you do, um, if I do, then we do need to make something again. Um, not mangoes. Oh, my God. I am so flabbergasted that this was such an utter failure. But it's okay. Truly, truly, it's important to do these kind of things. And it's important for me to show you my mistakes so that you don't think I'm some sort of god that never makes a mistake. <laughs> I'm human too. Thank you, Ashley, for joining me today. I had so much fun. Oh, of course, Miles. I had a blast. <laughs> I just have no words. I have no words like, for how terrible this here, is. Take this last sip. It almost, the more I smell it, the more layers I get. Like I'm getting like a fake bacon kind of <laughs> smell <laughs> like. We'll come back again one day. We will we will live to fight another day. Yes. In the meantime, watch other videos. Any any other video besides Mango Mead. Just go back to that raspberry. <laughs> right. We watch all the raspberry. That was fun, right? We had a good time. Um, and uh, have a great day. Bye-bye.